given today let us learn how to find rational numbers between any two given rational numbers for example let us find find six rational numbers between 3 and 4 so to find this we have two methods one method first method is mean method and the other one is common denominator method the first one is mean method the second one is common denominator method so first let us see what is mean method and then come to common denominator method and you can choose whichever is easier for you so first let us see mean method according to mean method for example if a and b are any two rational numbers given and you need to find rational numbers between these two rational numbers then the first rational number we can find through this is a plus b by 2 exactly the middle rational number you will get between a and b if you take a plus b by 2 you can get the middle rational number exactly the middle rational number between a and b which also can be written as 1 by 2 into a plus b so here a and b you think as our given numbers 3 and 4 so let us take 3 and 4 middle rational number first rational number we are going to find half into 3 plus 4 which gives you half into 7 that is 7 by 2. So your first rational number is 7 by 2. Now our rational numbers became 3 comma 7 by 2 comma 4. Now this is the middle rational number we got. Now between this 3 and 7 by 2 also you can find a rational number. So let us find that second rational number between 3 and 7 by 2. So Following the same method, we think this as A and this as B now. So, we will take half of A plus B, which is half into 3 plus 7 by 2, which you can think as half into, you can think like a mixed fraction, this as 3 plus 7 by 2 as 3 7 by 2 or 3 2s are 6 plus 7, 13 by 2. So, half into 13 by 2, which is 13 by 4. So, our rational numbers became now, first one is 3, Second one just now what we got between 7 by 2 and 3 that is 13 by 4 and next we have already found before 7 by 2 and next comes 4. So we found two rational numbers now until now these are the two new rational numbers we found between 3 and 4. Now the following the same method we can also find one more rational number between 7 by 2 and 4 also. So let us find one more rational number between 7 by 2 and 4 following the same method. So, let us take this as A and this as B now. Coming to half into A plus B again, half into 7 by 2 plus 4, which you can write as half into 2, 4 are 8, 8 plus 7, 15 by 2, which is 15 by 4. So, you got one more rational number, 15 by 4. So, our rational numbers became 3 comma previously 13 by 4 that previous number 7 by 2 and just now we got one more between 7 by 2 and 4 that is 15 by 4 and last one more given rational number that is 4. So between 3 and 4 we got now 3 rational numbers. Like that if you proceed go on finding any number of rational numbers between them. Just now we got 3 rational numbers. If you are going to find between 13 by 4 and 7 by 2 also you will get one more rational number which lies exactly in between these two. That is, again you can follow the same method, half into 13 by 4 plus 7 by 2. Goes on, half into, so you can take LCM here, 4, 2 LCM is 4, into 1, into 1, 13, plus into 2, into 2, 14. So, 7, 2 is a 14. So, coming to half into 13 plus 14, 27 by 4 which gives you 27 by 8. So this is your another rational number which you got. So finally we got 3 comma 13 by 4 comma 7 by 2 comma and we found one more rational number. Oh, between 13 by 4 and 7 by 2 we found 27 by 8 and next comes 7 by 2 what we found previously and 15 by 4 and finally 4. So we got here now 5 rational numbers, sorry 4 rational numbers. So like that you can go on finding any number of rational numbers between any two numbers like this. We call this as mean method. Now let us find similarly one more method common denominator method. Changing the 
denominators of two given rational numbers with the same number. Now let us continue with the second method, common denominator method. Common denominator method means we want to make the given rational numbers to the same denominator. So we call this as common denominator method. So the given rational numbers are 3 and 4. So we want to make the denominator same. So actually the denominators are already same which has 1 each. So 3 by 1 and 4 by 1. We want to make the denominator little bit bigger to find the bigger some more rational numbers between these two. So the as we want 6 rational numbers. So we want 6 rational numbers. So let us change the denominator to 6 plus 1. Change denominator to whatever rational numbers asked to that you add 1. So, so let us change the denominator both to 7. That means 3 by 1 can be written as with the denominator 7 into 7 into 7. So we will find an equivalent fraction to this which is 21 by 7. Now similarly for 4 by 1 also let us find a denominator which is 7. Find an equivalent fraction with the denominator 7. So which gives you 4 7 28 by 7. So our 3 by 1 is same as 21 by 7 and 4 by 1 is same as 28 by 7. Now we are going to find 21 by 7 and 28 by 7 middle 6 rational numbers exactly. So to find these 6 rational numbers at a stretch in a single step you can also continue writing 21 by 7 after comes 22 by 7 go on increasing the denominator 21 to 28 so that you will get all the 6 rational numbers. So 21 by 2, 7, 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7, 25 by 7, 26 by 7, 27 by 7. Like that finally 28 by 7 which is our given rational number. So other than the given two rational numbers we have middle total six rational numbers. So with all the denominators same. We will get all the denominators same. So these are the six rational numbers between 3 and 4. You may get a different answer for the, in the previous method and in this method you may get the different answer. But these are the different rational numbers. There lie infinite number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers. So you may get different rational numbers in that method and this method. But these are also six rational numbers between 3 and 4.